Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to show you how to perform visual AI automation testing of a UI of the web application. Let's get started. So there are a lot of tools in the market guys to perform visual automation or visual AI automation testing of UI of the applications, that is web applications, etc. One of such kind of tool is UI.vision tool. So to get started, first we have to open the browser and search for UI.vision. Okay, first you have to search for UI.vision and uh, okay, UI.vision, you are taken here. Here you are getting a option like UI.vision RPA for Chrome. One click install, just click on that. Okay, it will take you to the Google Chrome Web Store. Okay, the moment you click on this button, it will take you to the Google Chrome Web Store. We can where you can download the Chrome browser extension. Okay, you can download and install the Chrome browser extension of UI.vision for the Chrome. So click on Add to Chrome, and you will get this option Add UI.vision RPA. Just click on Add extension, and in a while you will see that the extension will get added to the browser, you will get this confirmation dialog. Okay. Once the confirmation dialog has come, close this new tab that is opening up, click on this extensions option and you just select the pin option here, UI.VisionRPA pin option so that you can see this option on the browser level. Fine. After that is done, just close the browser once. Okay. Now we have installed the Chrome extension for this uh, uh, visual AI automation testing tool for UI of the application that is UI.vision. We have installed the extension in the Chrome browser. Let's restart the browser by opening it again and open the application that you want to automate. For example, I want to automate this tutorialsninja.com slash demo where I want to automate the visual UI functionality. Okay. I want to check the visual uh, UI of the application. Fine. So what I will do for that is after opening this application, I'll click on this so that I'll get this, uh, you know, kind of a window. I'll click on this macro and I have to give some macro name. Let's say test one. I'll just give some name like test one and say confirm. Just minimize this. You, you got the test created here. You can give any name here. I'm just giving test one as a name guys. Okay. I'm just giving the test one as a name. Fine. Next thing is after giving the test one as a name or any other name, just click on this record option. Okay. Just move it to the side and just click on the record option. Then whatever the activities that you are going to do on this application will be recorded by that UI.vision tool. So I'll click on my account and select login option. Once I go to this login page, then I'll click on this. Some, you know, some steps already got recorded. I'll stop the recording. I'll stop the recording guys and click on add button. Okay. I'll add some extra step. So after performing these steps, after you are taken to this, uh, you know, login page of this application, I want to verify the UI of this uh, new customer and returning customer area. So for that here, there's a command part where I'll simply type visual asset. Simply I'll type visual asset and click on the select button. The moment I click on the select button, you see my cursor got converted into the place symbol as you can see. I'll drag it something like this, okay, till the area that I want to verify visually. The UI of this selected area will be, you know, verified by the tool, okay. Tomorrow when I run the automation scripts, this area that I am selecting will be compared with the on that particular day's area of this application. That's it. The screenshot has been taken here. Image name. You can give a different name here. Just confirm or you don't want to change. That's it, guys. You don't have to do much. Just now click on play macro. And here, all these steps are like UI automation steps where they will perform opening of the application URL in the browser. Click on the uh, click on that uh, login option in the my account menu. Then click and wait. Uh, so wait for this login page. And after that, uh, it's it will verify whether this area, the screenshot that has been taken here is expected or not. Okay, this expected uh, screenshot, as you can see, this expected screenshot, whereas the actual screenshot, actual functionality, uh, 
uh, UI of the functionality should match with the UI of the screenshot. Okay, UI of the functionality in the screenshot. Now let's run this. So for that, I'll just uh, you know make it a bit small. Okay, so fine. Just make it a bit small so that we can see what is happening on the screen. Okay. Yeah, fine. Scroll bar anyhow, okay. I'll just, uh, you know. Just give me a second. Here, play macro option is there. I'm going to click on that, okay? Yeah, play macro option is there. I, when I click on this play macro, all the steps will be verified one by one. I just clicked on the play macro. You see, the it is running the scripts. It clicked on my account selected login option. And finally, once we go to this uh, login page, it has to work, guys, but it's not working. Somehow, you see, I'm getting a message. What is the message? It's not because we have written something wrong here. To verify this, it's expecting you to, this particular UI.vision tool is, is expecting you to install this software, visual desktop automation software need to be installed. Then only it will be able to verify the screenshot and this actual UI of the page. Just click on the install now button. You will get this, all these options. I can click on install now, it got closed. Here you see desktop automation, visual desktop automation. You have to download it, okay? It will take you to this website. This is a process, guys. And here I'm using Windows machine. I'll just click the download for Windows here. So the download is happening here, guys. The download is happening here. As you can see here, it will take a minute of time. So it's almost less than a minute. Let's wait for the download to complete. Once you install this particular uh, we, that uh, exe version for that UI.vision, then this particular UI.vision tool will be able to perform the operation. Otherwise, you are going to get the errors. Fine. So let's wait for this to happen. So there are tools in the market, guys. UI.vision is one of such kind of tools. I just want to give you a kind of clarity. Like some people ask, right? Is there any way to automate the UI presentation layer of the application? Okay, not the functionality of the UI functionality of the application, but UI presentation. If the button has to be in blue color, whether it is in blue color or not, if the text is uh, modified or not, text box fields are there or not. Okay, all those UI verific UI presentation level verification with the help of this kind of screen screenshot technology in UI vision. We can do that. There are many other tools that already came in the market, guys. It can do the job well. I'll go to this location. And uh, then I'll just click on, double click on this software and it will get installed. I'll accept the agreement. Click on next button. Click on next. Click on S. Install. This software will get installed in a while. Let's wait for the software to get installed in a while. Once the installation is done. Yeah, installation is done, guys. As you can see, the installation is done. So I'm going to close this. Again, once that is done, just open this. Fin click on finish. Open this uh, UI vision uh, where I close this and uh, you'll get back to the test, which got failed in this particular step because that particular software was not there that we have now downloaded and installed in our machine. Now, again, the same thing, guys. I'll just click on play macro here. Just click on the play macro. It will run again. You see that S is running again. Click uh, selected my account login option. Now it has to verify. Let's see whether it will verify or not. Okay. It went to the page and you know the uh, the square box or rectangle box that you are able to see right that area. It's checking visually, guys. Okay. The UI presentation layer of that particular red color box is being verified. Now let's move on to this and see the all the the complete steps got passed. So th this is how, guys. These are. This is one of the tool I mean to say, using which we have performed the uh, UI present uh, presentation, okay, verification, okay, present UI pr presentation layer verification. We have done using the visual AI automation tools like UI dot vision. There are other tools also, Apply tools, Ice kind of tools are there, and many other AI tools came into the market. But uh, you see, if someone asks you how to perform visual AI automation testing of UI. Then you can give this as an example, guys. Using UI dot vision kind of tool, we can do that. Or we have something like Apply tools, Apply tools Ice tool, which can be integrated with Selenium IDE. Okay, and also using that also we can do Selenium IDE functionality. Also looks similar to the UI dot vision. 
so the same way guys okay uh, once you install ampli i tools you will get some uh, separate commands for visual assertions and all okay by doing that uh, you know you can perform visual ai automation testing of the ui presentation layer of the application web application desktop application everything is possible guys okay so with practical demonstration i have explained this for you so that's all for this session thank you bye bye